Hey guys, uh, another Q&A sort of video here. Um, one of my friends off uh, this forum, fit forum I uh, go on to and try and help people out and also do my log. Um, asked me a question on poly oils and uh, what exactly is their effects on the body. For me this has uh, been an area I've already looked into because it has kind of been an interest to me. I kind of like to research anything that I, I kind of ingest in my body and what its effects might be. So you might be thinking what poly oils uh, what I'm on about. So they're actually um, in like things like chewing gum and this is what I'm going to talk about because this is principally why I researched it and that was because they're in chewing gum and it's a carbohydrate do the calories that are in that chewing gum count towards my end total of macros or anything and um, so I researched it and I found some interesting stuff out about it so poly oils are actually sugar alcohols and uh, that's what they're more commonly known as and uh, there are several different types and they all have different effects on our body. The most common we know of is sorbitol, malitol, mannitol and mylitol. And there was a study done on their glycemic impact. And uh, if they didn't have any effect on our body and they didn't contain any carbohydrate or sugar, then the GI of a uh, sugar alcohol would be zero. Uh, interesting, the study didn't find this. Uh, the study investigated eight different sugar alcohols. Uh, I'll put a link to the study below. And in fact, it found only two of them had zero impact on our blood sugar level. And that meant the others all had a GR. The two that didn't have any impact on our blood sugar level were mannitol and eth. Retol. Two malitol syrups, these are the ones you want to be careful about because they were found to have a GI of over 50 and that's pretty high. That's higher than an orange <laughs> and to put into even greater perspective that's higher than white rice uh, and it's also higher than grapes. The report also showed that they had different energy values so different calories per gram and uh, it showed they had 0.2 to 3 calories uh, per gram. Uh, so those are quite low and quite insignificant in reality. So other things sugar alcohols are commonly found in are low carbohydrate products because uh, a lot of companies um, such as Atkins were found to not actually state the carbohydrate content uh, to full when they're using the sugar alcohols because they don't include these in their carbohydrate count. So the take home point for you guys is, and for me, is to check what sugar alcohol you are consuming because if it is a malitol syrup, um, the GI is pretty high and the carbohydrates do count in that. Through looking about a bit wider research, I also found that people seem to have different impacts with it on their body themselves anyway, and I thought this was relevant to Ben's question. Uh, some people get an upset stomach, um, they get the runs, um, so you might get this with certain sugar alcohols, poly oils. Um, I myself don't get this from having chewing gum. Um, I don't know other products I consume really contain sugar alcohols. I don't think they really do. Um, so the, the chewing gum I believe contains xylitol, and that has no impact uh, on me. And uh, the way I've been going about it is. Any, the GI of xylitol was not as high as the malitol and malitol syrups and so I wasn't too worried about that and also if it does contain any carbohydrates um, the likelihood is if I chew it for long enough I'm going to surpass the amount of calories I've gained through having the chewing gum through the amount of burnt through chewing it. Um, I actually researched this and found it quite interesting how many you actually burn when you're just chewing. Um, it's not loads but it, it builds up if you're having enough so uh, don't worry about chewing free sugar free gum as well as it's not containing one of these malitols or malitol syrups. So uh, sugar alcohols and their impact on our bodies the effect varies to person to person and the effect varies for the sugar alcohol in question. 
Uh, I hope that answers your question, Ben. And if you have any other further questions, please shoot. And uh, if I know the answer or I'm interested in finding out the answer, I will definitely do my best to answer it in full. Thanks, guys.